Hey, how are you doing team Nokia Pauliza here and we welcome you all to a very interesting and useful video. In this video we will talk about Android Pie tips and tricks uh, for Nokia Android smartphones. So uh, actually Android Pie brings lots of new features and changes which include uh, many visual changes it's like UI navigation changes etc etc. So the first thing that we would like to tell you is how to you know use uh, you know traditional navigation or like Android Pie navigation. So this is uh, quite, uh, you know, I mean, it changes the way the device behaves. So <clears throat> all you do is to go to system, gestures, and swipe up on home button. So that's just by doing toggle off, <clears throat> you get the traditional uh, navigation. You switch and toggle it on, you will get the Pi navigation. So if you have become habitual with the Pi navigation, you can go and toggle it on, or if you really want, or you really miss the traditional navigation you can uh, you know just do reverse and toggle it off so now we, we are like habitual so we'll do it so this is the first tip second uh in second or like it's a series of interesting tips and tricks so uh, there are many things that you can actually change on home uh, home screen itself so you have to uh, press and hold you go to home settings <clears throat> now you can do many things you can toggle off or on this notification dots directly from here so we have earlier shown what is a notification dot if an app has a notification to show it will you know show a small dot on its uh, icon now okay let's go back so that was the first thing that you can actually toggle off and on uh, dot. <clears throat> and now uh, with android pi at a glance you can directly you know check or change how what you want to see uh, on the in the status bar so calendar events upcoming at a glance flight information traffic information so it will all be appear here on the top of your home screen so you can actually choose that you can change that the third thing that you can do is you can now decide whether you want when you install a new app <clears throat> whether you want that icon to get added to home screen or not so it shows you can toggle it off or toggle it on so many times it's uh, kind of irritating that you know you install an app and it all gets and clogs your home screen so you can just toggle it off or toggle it on the third thing is uh, disabling the google app you can just disable the google app and when you disable it you can just you know swipe through and there will be no google feed available <laughs> which can be good or bad depending upon uh, how you want it then there are like two new features which arrived with pi which is overview in all apps list so how uh, suggestion for overview and all app list so how do you want to see it so you can actually decide you want it to be sh uh, shown here apps at the top of your app list yes or no you can decide that and wh where you want to see the actions apps actions we have talked about that it's a new and nice feature of uh, you know android pi so all at the top of your uh, all app list so both of these can be shown on the top of your all app list if you decide if you decide to toggle it off you can do that so i would quickly show you what is a app suggestion so you, usually it will appear here but it, it depends upon your usage actually if uh, you've used few things for a long it will show it up okay last thing that you can do or change here is icon shape so this is a feature which was present in oreo as well uh, before that as well so you can change your icon shape to something circle square spherical teardrop i can change it right now and you will get a you know this kind of icon shape which is like a traditional kind of icon shape on windows phone uh, os many people like to have it you can just do it so it's easily that's why i wanted to show it so these are the things that you can do notification dot at a glance adding or not adding icon to home screen and displaying or not displaying google feed then suggestions uh, like app actions and uh, app overview where do you want to see that on the top of app list or somewhere else so you can do that so all these and obviously the last which is uh, changing the shape of the icons <clears throat> now if i go to gestures you will see even more uh, things there you know so system gestures you have many new things like turnover to reject call you can switch it off or on mute on pickup swipe fingerprint for notification so swiping fingerprint for notification if it is on you can just swipe down on the uh, you know fingerprint sensor and you can open the notifications 
jump to camera you have to just press the power button twice i use it always very neat and lift to check phone so just lifting uh, you know the phone will allow you to uh, you know see the at a glance whatever notifications are there etc and as i said you can very quickly use the uh, you know fingerprint sensor to see the notification which i'm doing now swiping it down swiping it up which is very very nice so these all uh, can be used here now if we go to battery i would quickly like to show you something because this was asked by many people so how you can show the battery percentage in the status bar so you have to go to the system battery or like uh, how let me uh, show you the so you go to the settings you go to the battery and then you can see this toggle which shows show battery percentage and status bar just toggle it on and it will start showing here so these are all the you know small tips and tricks which you will find useful and obviously there was one which we had shown about the you know developer options and making the hiding the notch so just get the developer options go to the developer options and you can actually uh, hide the notch by using this option so hope you, you have liked all these tips and tricks of android pi small tips and tricks which are really really useful uh, we will uh, keep posting such tutorials which can actually be useful for you so thanks for watching stay tuned for more